Rallying is fun, and typically it's done by saloon cars with all-wheel drive. And today, we're going to be using a couple cars that aren't typically suited for your normal Group B get-go. And first off is the Civetta Scintilla, which is a rear-wheel drive, 650 horsepower supercar. And it's a little, let's just say it's a little difficult to control off-road, even when you have put proper compound rally cars tires on it, like the uh, Dreed Rally Pro tires, it's still extremely difficult, and as you can see here, we've got the Steelys on it, with proper rally car tires, and it is still incredibly hard to control, and, uh, oh, no, the game's lagging, okay, oh, alright, this is pro probably the only proper actual, you know, lap that we did of the course, and it took me two hours to do it. So, um, yes, and uh, it did go into the grass a little bit, but it's a supercar. It can definitely handle some rough usage, because, um, yeah. And of course, it does make the jumps. It's actually very, very fun, uh, albeit a little difficult to get this thing properly. And, uh, oh. okay, in the grass again, but it's no, no bother. Let's just get back on the road here. There we go. And of course, it is very difficult to get a little wrangle this thing in, but it can do it. You can do it. Absolutely. As you can see, it actually looks very, very good on the dirt road. People should rally their cars more often. Rally their supercars more often. But maybe particularly one with all-wheel drive, not this rear-wheel drive sport one. But, you know, it can get in the corners very very look at that thing and of course reached the tarmac look at that it made it with minimal damage and next up here is an all-wheel drive which is good for rally but it's electric with instant torque and acceleration which it's also probably the fastest i believe car of the line um one thing about these electric cars is that they don't credit for what the as it turns out is this tiny little thing right here look at that little bugger and it jacks up the entire underside of the car and sends you to a tree but then again the rally car is incredibly hard to control because of its weight which makes for some fun but very very violent crashes but that's what this game's good for right right but yes it is very very fun to just destroy this thing and honestly it is incredibly hard to control it since it is so heavy and honestly the tires i probably should have put bigger tires on it but it is just that hard to control and it is probably a bit slower on the jumps as well but no matter and of course, you can see it slides around corners exceptionally well. It is incredibly good at sliding because it loses traction so well. And uh, a little... Removing bumpers is weight reduction, so it's a good thing. But it is incredibly hard to control sometimes, especially due to the fact that it is so heavy and the tires are a little wee bit small. But it does go very fast. And it has instant torque and acceleration which is good for the road but not so good for the um, dirt also regenerative braking which is interesting and okay <sighs> that's it i'm going to the gas one this is a proper supercar well sports car whatever way you put it rear engined boxer turbocharged all-wheel drive with meaty tires on it and it is better in every single way compared to its electric counterpart which involves a lot of driving off-road and it is very fun because it slides very well and it's, it's much more controllable and more predictable and it takes bumps better because it's lighter weight it's not as fast but it's more responsive Absolutely, it goes very quick, and you know, corners are turning is not my forte. I'll tell you that I'm an American. Turning is very difficult, but look at this thing go! It can. Move.
move very fast as well. I like it. I like gas-powered cars, you know, little fossil fuels. I'm very sad they're trying to turn to electric cars, but it is, as you can see, goes right over the jumps. Look at that. A proper rally car. Except it's a supercar, which isn't made for rally. Usually you take your mom's Audi Quattro out on the dirt roads, but something like a $90,000 supercar will do just fine, as long as it's gas-powered. Electric ones don't do very well. Anyway, as you can see right here, it just, it's very quick, actually. It's much more nimble than the electric counterpart, like, simply because, it, hold on, brakes, they, uh, brakes don't work as good on the dirt, so keep that in mind. Anyway, I wonder why you're watching this video, because, um, it's kind of a weird video that I made, just for fun. I kind of have to upload a video every week, and my parents won't let me work on cars. So, enjoy this short, six, seven minute long BMG video. And oh, we're already at the end here. Look at that. See? And the best thing about this thing is, you can just go on the road anyway. Look at this slide. Superior in every way. And how about really old cars like this 1930s racer? which is called the Gavril Fanta, which is very interesting, but it's really not that good at rally either, because uh, the wheels are just that tiny, and it overheats halfway through, and it blows the engine. So yes, maybe subscribe, I don't know.